She didn't seem sick. She wasn't bed-bound or coughing or in pain. She was just tired. Tired in a way that sleep didn't fix. Tired in a way that made her feel like a ghost of herself. This is Zara, 34 years old, a dedicated teacher, a loving partner, a loyal friend. And for the last year, she's been running on empty, but no one saw it, not even her. Zara's days looked normal on the surface. She'd wake up at six, snooze three times, drag herself out of bed. Her mornings were a fog, brushing her teeth with one eye closed, pouring coffee like it was medicine. She forgot her lunch, again, lost her keys, again. Walked into the classroom with a smile, but her brain felt ten seconds behind her body. She skipped gym classes, skipped dinner. Her weekends became just long naps and Netflix. You're probably just burnt out, said her friends. You're a working mum, said her partner. It's normal. So she believed them, until the day she fainted at work. It happened mid-sentence. She was handing out worksheets when everything spun. Her vision blurred, her legs went light, then everything went black. She came to on the staff room floor, heart racing, cold sweat, panic. Paramedics checked her vitals. Her blood pressure was low. Her hands were icy. They sent her to the emergency department. That's where they discovered the truth. Her hemoglobin was far below normal. Her ferritin, the iron store in the body, was practically undetectable. The doctor looked at her and said, You're not just tired, you're anemic. Anemia, specifically iron deficiency anemia. One of the most common and yet most overlooked medical conditions, especially in women. Your body uses iron to make hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is what gives red blood cells their power to carry oxygen from your lungs to every cell in your body. No iron, no hemoglobin. No hemoglobin, no oxygen. That means your brain, your muscles, even your heart, they're all gasping silently. It's not just tiredness, it's low oxygen delivery. And for Zara, it had been going on for months, maybe years. Her periods had always been heavy. She thought that was normal. But each month, she was losing blood. And with every cycle, she was falling further behind. Iron deficiency doesn't always scream. It whispers. It shows up as constant fatigue. Shortness of breath, pale skin or lips. Brain fog, brittle nails, cold hands and feet. Most people brush it off. They say, I just need more sleep. Or, I'm just stressed. But here's the problem. If you don't treat it, it doesn't just go away. It gets worse. It can affect your heart. It can affect pregnancy. It can even increase your risk of infection. And you don't need to be bleeding to become iron deficient. Some people simply don't absorb iron well. Conditions like celiac disease or inflammatory bowel disease can quietly block iron uptake for years. Zara's journey wasn't over, but it finally had a name. Her doctor prescribed oral iron supplements slow release, taken with vitamin C. They monitored her levels. They treated the heavy bleeding. She changed her diet, adding more red meat, leafy greens, lentils, and iron-fortified foods. She learned not to drink tea with meals because it blocks absorption. And week by week, she began to come back to life. Her eyes looked brighter. She remembered her keys. She walked up the stairs and didn't need to sit down. She smiled genuinely smiled, for the first time in months. It wasn't just her body healing, it was her identity returning. Zara's story isn't rare. Millions of people, especially women, live every day in a fog, blaming themselves. They think they're lazy or weak. But the truth? Their body is screaming for help. All it takes is one blood test, a full blood count and ferritin level, to reveal it. So if you're tired all the time, if you're foggy, dizzy, forgetful, breathless, if your periods are heavy or your diet is lacking, ask for a test. Don't let normalized fatigue steal years of your life. This isn't just about Zara. It's about all of us who ignore the signs. You deserve energy. You deserve clarity. You deserve to feel alive again. Talk to your doctor and share this with someone who's just tired. Because sometimes just tired is a warning sign one we can't afford to miss. Please remember to like, 
comment, and subscribe for more real stories from a real doctor. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to watch this video on the top left on what to do if you snore and feel tired all the time.